Hey guys, my name is Natalia and welcome to my channel. I make videos about me owning a boutique and I also make, I'm making, I'm starting to make fashion videos about how I like to style things and I wanted to share that with you guys. So if you're new to my channel, thank you for watching and remember to like and subscribe if you like these this type of content. And if you're coming back, thank you so much for coming back. I hope you guys enjoyed this video too. So getting into topic right now. One of my favorite things uh, to do, my style, I love wearing dresses all the time. That's my style. Uh, I will always prefer a dress. <laughs> and especially midi dresses. Those are my favorites. Uh, and one of the things that I like to do is I like to style my dresses not so I can only wear them at a certain time of the year. I like to style them layering and different things that I like to do with them. Uh, different accessories to so I can wear my dresses so my cost per wear for a certain dress is going to be way better. And because I enjoy my styles, uh, I enjoy certain styles so much that I love to play around with the styling so I can get more wear out of my dresses. Clothes meant to be worn. So the dress that I kind of chose to do this today is this dress over here. I'll insert a picture of how I have already worn it before or of the picture of the model. I will do both. Uh, this is a dress actually from the brand uh, Wedgie Hauses. It's the brand that I have on my store too. So if you if we still have this one, uh, you can check out the link below because all of the styles that we work with, you only work with one of each size. So usually things will sell out fast. But a dress like this is a very uh, classic silhouette in my opinion. So even if you don't, you can't get this exact dress, you can also find something in your closet that can also work with your styling. So I'm gonna show you guys four ways that I will style my dresses, my, this dress. And one of them is going to be every day uh, for more summer styles that I wear like throughout the day that you, uh, if you watch, uh, insert uh, on the cards over here, the video that I wore this dress before, I wore it to work, I styled with sneakers, uh, made a little bit more of a date night, end of summer styling, not so for the not so hot days, uh, and also the how I would style it for more fall and winter. I will always wear florals even in the winter, and I like to have pops of colors, so I will always do that. But this time I'm gonna be focusing more on fall because we're getting into the fall. And the fourth way that I like to, that I will, uh, I'm gonna show you guys is going to be a little bit more of an alternative style that I love. I love uh, pairing things with leather, uh, harness. I love doing that. I will actually have a video coming up about how I style my harnesses with my um, more girly style. But without any further ado, let's get into the video. All right, so I just finished styling the first the first look. So this is how I, I think I actually wore it exactly like this. The only thing that I might change around would be a little bit more of the handbag. I also have this one right here, which fits a lot more of what I like. I love that one, just maybe not so much with this style in particular. But uh, what I, what I do to pair with it to make it a little bit more summery for my everyday wear. This is personal. <laughs> this is my personal style. I love putting it on with sneakers. I just feel like it makes it a lot more casual. This, some people will look at this dress and be a little bit more like, oh, it's a super, it's a lot more of a dressed up style, but I like to dress it down and I think sneakers are a great way to do that. So what I'm wearing right now is my Converse. This Converse actually, I don't know if I can show it like this. This Converse is actually the one with the red stripe. It, I got it in Brazil, like here, it doesn't have the one with the red stripe, so. And I just paired it, I pretty much paired everything with my Gucci belt, so just paired it with my Gucci belt, but any black belt, I love cinching in the waist. That's my favorite silhouette, the ones that cinch in, that will emphasize the waist. So I kind of just paired it with the Gucci belt my i think this is the selma bag i don't think michael kors makes this one anymore i got this one in like 2017 but this like a brighter bag to bring in some pop of color and more of that like summer happiness <laughs> and for accessories so what i just paired it with is one of my favorite lockets uh this one is 
by Janice Savit. I, I think that's how you pronounce it. I will actually link it. Everything that I can find will be linked down below. But this one I got in 2020 uh, when I was working at a store called um, Vanderbilt Gallery in Nantucket. I got uh, I got this one from there. It's one of my favorites. It's pretty good, like for like a locket that is uh, that I have worn quite a lot. It doesn't have a lot of scratches, so the quality is pretty good. And, and these are Michael Kors earrings that I also probably got in like 2016, 2017. Like I said, I keep most of my jewelry. <laughs> I have things for a long time. But yeah, so this is how, kind of how I would style this one for a little bit more of a summer every day. How I would also, how I have and how I will go to work in the summer. So this, this is the second look. It's my cry and I'll party if I want, party if I want. So this is how I would style it a little bit more for a date night. A uh, few different accessories. I kind of ditched the belt altogether this time because I just wanted the dress to speak for itself. But now let me show you the how I how I change up the style. So I'm definitely wearing heels for this one. These are shoots heels. I just keep them in the box. They're not new, but I just keep them in the box because. They're very pretty, they're very, but like I don't want anything to happen to them unless I'm wearing them out. So the, I just put on my heels. This, I just put on, this is the Bradshaw Michael Kors bag. So I would definitely go for a little bit more of a smaller bag to kind of keep it very simple. The other thing that I paired it with was this. This is kind of more like a scarf, um, but I wear it as pretty much anything just to throw on my shoulders. And for accessories, I will always take an event an opportunity to actually wear something very sparkly. And if it's date night, hey, why not do it? So I just paired it with this is a Swarovski. It's kind of like a tennis, I think it's called the tennis uh necklace. This one is a little different than some of the other ones. This one's a little bit more like triangle. Uh, Swarovski crystals, but it's still like one of my favorites. So I decided to keep it a little bit more simple over here. But then on the earrings, <laughs> uh, this is also from, from Swarovski. I got it. I think both of these were 2021 or something. So this one, it has like the part that crawls up your ear. And on the other side, it's a mismatch set that also has this one that crawls up the ear and also has like the little studs over there. So this is kind of how I would style it. If it it's a little bit, it's not a super cold night, but it's still like, you still want something on top of your shoulders, but chilly for the chillier night, for like the chillier night air. And now let me show you. Let me just take this off. So these are the shoes that I, that I paired it with. These are shoes shoes they are super comfortable despite how high they are they are actually super comfortable they're also a brazilian brand so hey um so yeah they're also a brazilian brand and their shoes are really really good i had like a few pairs for very for many years and they still look pretty good this one i think i had it for like a few months already so i haven't worn it that much but i love the accessories that's kind of how i got the uh how I decided that I was gonna wear um, silver jewelry. So definitely this. The other way that I would also style it, if I wanted to have a little bit more of a lighter colors to it, I would bring out my beloved Chloe Nile bag and pair with this one, the with this shoes. This one, I actually wore it for my wedding. It was my wedding shoes. And it's also from a Brazilian brand. <laughs> it's called, it's from, from George B. Schoff. I don't know if I pronounced that right in neither of the languages. But yeah, so if I wanted to have a little bit of a lighter color palette, I would just put like, I won't even do these up. But if I wanted to do a lighter color palette, this one would also be a great option. <laughs> so I love the Chloe Nile. Do I need to say anything? 
and these shoes are also super comfortable. They're a little bit, the heels are a little bit smaller than the other ones, but also still pretty good. Dancing on the tables, throwing out the labels, life is a bar and I'm living in large. I'm the this one just reminds me why I love fall so much and why I love fall fashion a lot more. Cause this feels very much me. This is very much me. Uh, and even if I pair it with this, wait. How do you feel about this one? So this one, of course, this one is a little bit more later in the season appropriate. Yes, of course, you can just throw on a sweater. I actually have a sweater over here too. But of course you can throw on a sweater and wear like that, but why be boring when you can do layering? <laughs> so the boots, I like, <laughs> so I like layering uh, like over the knee boots with dresses underneath like midi dresses because it gives me an extra layer of protection, especially when it's cold. So, and then the winter, what I'll do if I want to wear this in the winter, I would just wear tights. I'll put on like tights underneath that nobody will know and I will still be very warm. That's why I like dresses because I can put as many layers as I want underneath it and it will still be pretty good. Okay, but right now on the top, I just layered this. This is like a layering piece. This is literally a layering piece from uh, Intimacy Me. And yeah, so I just like to put it underneath it because it still follows like, especially this one, there are some very simple ones that are a little bit higher too. I forgot to take this one off. Okay, now this feels much better. <laughs> this looks much better. So um, there are ones that I just like straight across. I actually have some. Yeah, so this one is the same style, the same material as this Intimacy Me one. This one is just the more like crew neck version. Um, but I like this one because it has a little bit of a detail. It kind of follows a little bit of the of the neckline of the uh, piece. And it also has a little bit of the lace details also on your hands. So it will give you that very beautiful um, detail that I like. I like romantic styles. That's my style. So yeah, so this is how I also would pair it. For accessories, accessories I think make or break an outfit. So I did pair it with my Gucci belt because I think this outfit calls for a belt. <laughs> and I also paired it with my Zwarovski set. This is this was from an owl set that they did a few years ago. And the this one I don't know where it's from. I got it a few years ago. I don't know where it is, but I'll link some options from uh, Amazon probably down below. So for us now for handbag, I would definitely do a like my Aston Old London. This is a bag that I also had for a few years already. It's still pretty good. Right now it's full because it's the bag that I'm currently using. But I feel like this bag just adds something to it. And I can also just do this and wear it a little bit lower. So yeah. And if it's a colder day. I would definitely also throw on, uh, if it's a more, a much colder day, I would definitely throw on also a leather jacket on top. I think that would look really nice too. But if you want to also wear a sweater underneath it, on top of it, you can also do that. And it will still be a really nice piece and you'll still be very warm, especially right now because it's still summer still very hot here in Boston so this this just feels like too much but I'm ready for fall so this is how I would style it still very much a fall style of course but with a little bit more of a alternative dark academia. That's how I'm calling this one, okay? 
Alternative Dark Academia. I <laughs> paired this one with my uh, Doc Martens bag, messenger bag. I don't know what this one's called. I'm gonna have to find out. Link in the bio. Check it out over there. So this one, I paired it with my platform docs. I'll give you a better look of them in a little bit. But on the rest of the styling, on the rest of the styling, I this is what I said about like how I pair certain accessories because this one is um, a mesh top that I found from Amazon. I also have a version that is not so like so uh, turtleneck, but this one is also very much me. I love pairing things that like this. <laughs> And so I paired it with a harness because I feel like the dress is still very romantic and you cannot take that from it, but you can also break it apart and play around with it with the accessories. So this harness, I actually got it from Etsy. It's also a all leather harness. So this one is also very, uh, very sturdy also. <laughs> I had it for like about a, over a year already and I have worn it so much and with so many different things. Uh, I have already also worn it in a YouTube video, so if you want to see one of the vlogs, how I styled it even in the summer, you'll be able to see. And it's also, I styled it with another dress that is kind of like the same silhouette as this one, so if you want to see how I styled it for the summer, over there it is. But on accessories, I just paired it, I wanted to keep it a little bit more of a black theme going on, so I actually paired it with the my Vivian Westwood choker. This one was a repurposed one. I actually did a little DIY because I accidentally stained the pearls on the original one when I got my hair dyed in last year. Uh, I had colored my hair on the bottom here. I had colored it purple and I forgot that I was wearing the choker and it kind of stained and it didn't come off. But yeah. So, and I also paired it with my uh, Swarovski hoops. These are also super comfortable. So just kept like these two a little bit more simple, especially with the choker, because I feel like the black details, this is one of my favorite pieces that I've made. Um, yeah, I also have a TikTok showing what I did to it. So if you want to see it, link in the bio. Uh, but this like, this one is my favorite is the and yes, yeah, so let me show you my shoes because these are, I forgot the actual name of it right now. It's slipping my head is the 14 something uh, platforms, quads or something. Uh, but I just changed the lace to be, uh, the laces to be this like ribbon style they had in the store. This one's already pretty broken in. I had it for over a year. I got it when I worked at Journeys. These, I have to say, they're my favorite pairs of docks. And yeah, so I just kind of styled it like this. Let me give you another overview. That was a lot. I am sweating right now. <laughs> but yeah, so those are the four ways that I like to style this Riviera, Riviera dress. So if there's anything, any of your favorite looks, please comment down below. Please comment down below if which one you prefer, like one, two, three, or four. I know that my style might not be the everybody's cup of tea, but it's how I like to express myself. I love playing around with uh, different pieces and kind of incorporating them all together. But yeah, so thank you so much for watching. Please come back for the next video. I post three times a week. Two vlogs, one vlog on Sunday, sometimes Monday, but try to keep it on Sunday. Wednesday is a fashion video and Friday is another vlog. And if you have any, any comments, tips or anything, please comment down below. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.